This video will explore the value error in Excel, a very common error that usually appears when a value used in some kind of calculation is not the expected type for that particular formula. So if you're trying to apply a formula and you see the value error, the first thing that you have to do is to go back to the list of cells that you're using and check whether the types are correct. The error usually appears when you have a cell and some white space has slipped in there or when you're trying to do some math and the cell is keeping a value in text format. I have some examples right here that I will use to demonstrate these two scenarios that I've mentioned and I'll show you how to fix the errors. Well, I'm trying to do a sum of all these numbers right here and while the first three numbers are of correct types, the last number is a typo. You see, instead of putting a number, somehow I slipped a letter in there. Instead of zero, I wrote O. So obviously this doesn't work because Excel cannot add together numbers and text, so it is showing the value error. All I have to do to correct it is to remove the letter, replace it with zero, and the formula will be fixed. In the second table, I have a trickier scenario. Everything looks fine, but somehow I'm getting the error. This is tricky because errors that involve white space are the most sneaky type of errors you'll get because you're unable to see the white space on a first look and the data usually looks fine. You see, I'm not seeing any issues in there, but I'm getting the value error. So a common way to fix this error is to use find and replace and replace all the white space that you have in your data. And so I will select all the cells that I'm using in calculations. I'm going to click Ctrl and H. And when the find and replace box is being displayed, in the find what input, I'm going to hit space and add a white space. And the replace with box, I'm going to leave it as it is. And when I click on replace all, we see that uh, Excel has made one replacement and our error is fixed. If you've used these two methods and your issue is still there, you should also keep an eye on calculated cells. If one of those calculated cells has some kind of error and you're trying to use it in another formula, you will get the value error. And to demonstrate this, I'm using in cell B12, I'm using this formula to calculate the sum of all these numbers right here that are coming from calculated cells. Right now, everything is fine, but if I slip an error in here, now I don't have any value in here. So I'm going to check all my calculated cells. I'm going to see if I have any errors. And obviously, I have an error in E8. I'm going to fix the error, and my formula has been fixed. This is it for the video. You should keep in mind that Excel displays the value error when a formula has a wrong type of argument. If you've learned something new, please hit the like button and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.